students how are you all you know there are a lot of danger all around us and if you are not cautious we will end up hurting each other so today we'll learn about safety first all and big accidents take place inside and outside our houses but if you are careful we can avoid most of these accidents you can get hurt in the kitchen in the bathroom on the road or in the school but if we follow the safety rules we can be safe to a greater extent today we we'll learn the safety rules safety at home homes are very comfortable for us but we can get hurt even at home if we are careless so let's see how to be safe at home slipping on the floor first keep the floors of bathroom and kitchen dry do not leave any toys or other things on the floor use a high table or ladder to reach anything high burns burns are caused by hot objects steam or fire to avoid such accidents do not wear synthetic clothes while working in the kitchen or while burning crackers synthetic clothes catch fire easily and wear cotton cloth turn off the gas stoves when not in use and get them checked regularly to avoid leakage electric shocks electricity is a boon and makes our life much easier but these electric gadgets and appliances need to be handled carefully so do not touch electric gadgets wires and electric points with wet hands then quickly switch off the main switch if someone gets an electric shock do not get too close to electric fans heaters when they are on consumption of medicines and chemicals on your own can cause poisoning the effects of poisoning can uh, range from short term illnesses to brain damage coma or even death so do not take any medicines without asking an elder do not consume liquids kept in bottles without knowing what they are safety on the road accidents are a common sight on the road we need to make safety rules a habit some of them are always follow the say, traffic rules and be safe always walk on the footpath cross the road at the zebra crossing or use a subway or the overhead bridge while crossing the road look to your right then to your left and again to your right before crossing use a seat belt while traveling in a car wear a helmet while traveling on a two wheeler safety at school accidents are common in school it can be avoided by being disciplined here are few disciplinary measures you need to follow while at school do not climb onto the desk and chairs do not push each other do not run up or down the stairs do not play with sharp objects like blades compass pointed pencils etc first aid first aid is the immediate medical help given to any person suffering from either a minor or serious illness or injury timely aid can prevent the victim's condition from worsening and can even save a victim's life but remember while rendering first aid it is important to stay calm act fast and make the victim comfortable do not allow people to crowd around the victim in case you are not able to rent the first aid immediately call for an elder it's important to have first aid at, at the home and at school for emergency use here are a few things you can have in your first aid kit antiseptic lotion gauze and cotton pair of scissors and a tweezer bandages crib bandages antiseptic cream calamine lotion bone oil sticky tape thermometer etc make sure you have most of these things in your first aid kit now we learn few first aid techniques for cuts burns faints 
nose bleeding and insect bites for cuts bruises bleeding wounds you need to wash your hands with soap and water then wash the wound with water clear the wound with antiseptic lotion like dettol or savlon cover the wound with the bandage in case the bleeding does not stop take the victim to a doctor minor burns can occur due to steam and touching hot objects minor burns can be treated at home first remove the heat source then wash the burnt area with cold running water or put ice cubes on the area for 10 to 15 minutes this will prevent the formation of blisters apply a cream like burnol to cool the area remember major burns need the immediate attention of a doctor faints a person faints when the supply of blood to the brain reduces If a person faints, make them lie down. Then raise the legs above the height of head. This will help the blood to reach the brain faster. Then loosen the victim's clothes and allow fresh air around him. Sprinkle some water on their forehead. Then call for a doctor. Insect bites. The bite of insects like bees and wasps can be very painful. they can cause itching swelling and redness of the area so immediate first aid is needed first try to remove the sting with the help of a tweezer then apply a paste of baking soda and cold cream on the affected area for relief rub an ice on the affected part to reduce swelling apply calamine lotion to reduce itching nose bleeding Nose bleeding is common in hot summer months. Make the victim sit on a chair with the head leaning forward. Press both sides of the nostril for a short while and ask the victim to breathe through the mouth. An ice pack can be applied on the nose to stop the bleeding quickly. Do you know you can make your own ice pack? You just need to have 8 ice cubes. Wrap these ice cubes in a handkerchief. or a clean cloth here you go your ice pack is ready children here is an activity for you all first do not wear dash clothes while working in the kitchen or burning the crackers second consumption of medicines and chemicals on your own can cause dash third dash should be applied on a burn fourth wear a dash while traveling on a two wheeler I hope from now on you will follow the safety rules and be safe at home school or on the road. I also believe you'll put into practice these first aid techniques when there is an emergency. Thank you.